suggest to ecologist Matthew Wallenstein that he's come to the Alaskan Arctic to study dirt, and he's quick to correct you. This is more than mere dirt. It's soil. That's dirt, plus all the plant detritus and microscopic critters that live in it. Since the last ice age, the plants have been taking carbon out of the atmosphere and storing it in the soil. So this has been essentially depositing carbon from the atmosphere into this vault. But with the Arctic warming at a rapid rate, the vault is set to open, and the key is in the soil. Just mention the word tundra, and you probably think of a barren, lifeless landscape. And looking across the horizon here, you might think, well, that is in fact the case. But on closer inspection, this place is just brimming with life. With support from the National Science Foundation, Wallenstein and a team from Colorado State University have come to the Tulik Field Station, deep inside the Arctic Circle, to drill soil cores for study. It has a very nice mineral line. Yeah. The soil itself is home to a vast number of tiny microbes all feeding on the tundra vegetation. Just like we breathe in oxygen um, and breathe out CO2, the microbes are doing, are doing something very similar. They're also essentially breathing out CO2 as a, as a waste product. For thousands of years, the soil microbes have subsisted on a limited carbon diet. That's because much of the organic matter is frozen into the permafrost layer, which starts about a foot underground. But now it's starting to thaw, and that means all those microbes are about to find themselves at an all-you-can-eat carbon buffet. Let's check it. Team members Laurel Lynch and Megan Mockmuller will spend much of the season here collecting cores. On this spring day, the cold cut right to the bone, but it's the overall warming trend that matters. Well, we're cold right <laughs> now, and this is frozen. And so that prevents the release of the carbon to the atmosphere. But as temperatures are warming very fast here in the Arctic, this, the microbes, speed up, decompose carbon faster perhaps, releasing more carbon to the atmosphere. And that's really what we're trying to understand. <laughs> yeah. As they see it, the stakes couldn't be higher. Right now, our current estimates are that the Arctic stores more carbon in this landscape than is currently held in our entire atmosphere. And so if that carbon is released, it has the potential to really impact climate, not only in the Arctic, but globally. And so it can affect things like fire intensity and crop productivity, drought, issues that are affecting people all around the world digging in to learn more about how soil microbes are cycling carbon from the earth to the atmosphere. Now that's drilling down to pay dirt. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.